What's good, everyone? My name is Orlando. Week 5 is here, and this is Friday Night Football. We start with Pac-12 After Dark. 19th-ranked Oregon State hosting 10th-ranked Utah in Corvallis. Big-time atmosphere, but a game that felt stuck in the mud for a while. No Cam Rising. QB1 out for the visiting Utes. Beavers turn to the ground and pound. Damian Martinez, the workhorse, and he gets rewarded with a score. Beavers up 7-0 in the first quarter. But the defenses took control from there. Most offensive thing in the first half was Tim Brando pronouncing Willamette wrong. Don't worry, he apologized. It's all good. Nothing worked offensively until the second half. DJ Ui Ungalale finds Silas Bolden, avoids the tackle. See you later. 14-0 Beavs. Then... On fourth down, ignore the flag, doesn't matter. Bolden delivers the dagger. Need for speed. Oregon State takes care of business 21-7. The Beavers back in the Pac-12 mix, handing the Utes their first loss of the season. Go ahead, storm the field. Oh, there's my music. The Three Rivers League has dominated out of conference play all season. All six teams, four and oh. At the top 10 of the coaches' poll. Now, league play begins and with some fireworks. First up, a rivalry renewed. Top ranked Westland visiting fourth ranked Lake Oswego Lakers with upset on their minds. Colin Best, pick six. Lake O on top seven. Nada. Westland responds. Danny Weidman getting busy. 26 yards later, he's into the crib. Westland with the lead. Lake O, though, fighting back. Xavier Russell, the dive. Home team with the lead again. But Westland had enough of that. Baird Gilroy goes long to Gus Donnerberg. He's a regular on the show. 59-yard TD. Westland gets a 49-14 win on the road to open league play. Over to Tualatin. Third-ranked Timberwolves hosting number eight Lake Ridge. The Timberwolf on the prowl. This was a battle. Tualatin down 10 at the half. Rally mode activated. Jaden Fortier bullies in from a couple of yards out. Tualatin on top just like that. You think the Pacers were just going to go away? Gabe Machenbacher connects with Luke Womack. Game tied at 24. But there goes that man again. Fortier with the knockout. Tualatin gets a 31-24 win. Jam-packed house. Ninth-ranked Oregon City visiting sixth-ranked Tigers. Home team coming out strong. Jake Feist. Tigers up 17-0 at the half. Then Oregon City gets the offense going. Ben Schneider wheeling and dealing. Keaton Moore. Cutting the lead to just three points in the fourth quarter. So here we go. Less than a minute later, Schneider up to Easton Hunt. Oh, what a catch. Oregon City comes all the way back to score a 28-24 win. The Pioneers 5-0. Pacific Conference we go. The Sherwood Bowman 4-0, ranked fifth. They've put up three straight shutouts hosting Century on a Friday night. Sherwood fans, you know they always bring it, and the Bowmen weren't messing around. First play from scrimmage, Wilson Medina to the outside, and he gone 50 yards to the house. What a way to start, and the Bowmen weren't done. Second play from scrimmage, Kaysen Covert, the deep ball to Evan Morris. 45 yards for the score. Sherwood rolls. 52 nada. That's a fourth straight shutout. We make a 40 minute drive into four seconds. Clackamas hosting Nelson. Mount Hood Conference play. Nothing says, let's go, like running out of those big helmets. The visiting Hawks hyped. Eddie Kiomani ate his Wheaties. Get off me. Can't stop, won't stop. But a big scare for Clackamas. Uh-oh, Bumbo! You gotta give the linemen some love. Cassius Weaver keeps the ball for the Cavs. And that sets up Jackson Doyle. Ring him up. 
but Nelson comes out in the end with the dub. Hawks take it 33-13. Scores from Salem, please. North Salem takes care of McNary, 48-20. South Salem gets a 48-21 win over West Salem. The Saxons, 5-0. Conference play kicking off in the 3A Greater St. Helens League, and it begins with two contenders. Mountain View and Evergreen, this is your Game of the Week. McKenzie Stadium, the place to be. Game of the Week vibes, no doubt. Both teams three and one. Energy legit. Mountain View fans understood the assignment. Active from start to finish. Thunder ready for the occasion. Bumbo! Akili Kamau scoop and score! Mountain View on top, 14-0. Plainsmen rally. Jaden Crace shaking, bacon, six-piece ready to order. Crace with the Evergreen's first two TDs. It's all tied up. E-way! But that's when Porter Drake snapped. Nothing was the same. Zero to 100 real quick. 48 yards. Just hold on. We're going home. Then Mountain View recovers an onside kick, game changer, because they immediately cash out with another hit from Drake. RB1 goes over the century mark on the ground, and Mountain View takes the W, 39-27. Meantime, Prairie gets its first win of the year, edging Kelso, 36-33. Union hosting Coeur d'Alene in the early game at McKenzie. Titan students, they got jokes. Union's Alex Olsen would not be denied. But it wasn't enough. Rough night for the Titans. Union Falls, 40-10. Eighth ranked Camus hosting Kamiak at Doc Harris. Defense came ready to ball. Trenton Swanson, the INT. And you may as well call him doctor. That's a house call. Camus wins big, 53, nada. Papermakers have won four straight. Let's head to Southwest Portland. The Wells Guardians hosting the McDaniel Mountain Lions. My coin toss advice, tails never fails. Let's play a game of who's got the ball. The wing T offense showing out. This time, Griffin Scott gets the score. Eight nothing Guardians. Then Marcellus Griffiths follows his friends into the end zone. Wells gets a 40 to 20 win at home. More PIL scores. Roosevelt takes care of Cleveland, 48-6. Franklin gets a 35-25 win over Lincoln.